Google shut down its AI image bot after it started spitting out some seriously inaccurate pictures. But is this just a funny glitch or something more concerning? Let's take a look. Google just shut down its artificial intelligence image bot because it was spitting out erroneous images. Is there any humor in this or is it all just bad news? We're well, there's a lot of humor. Look, in their quest to be inclusive, Laura, random races started to being imposed on historic <laughs> figures. For instance, when you type in founding fathers, this is what Washington looked like. Uh, do you, do you want to see a pope? How about this? Mm. How about a Roman oh. How about a Roman emperor or an astronaut? Uh, now. This is just the result of the info Google put into the robot lore, which is an attempt to promote diversity. OK, this is Jen Janai. She oversees Google's AI responsibility initiative. Uh, I think it's OK to talk about things that you've made mistakes in because we will make mistakes when we're trying to be good allies, when we're trying to be anti-racist, we will make mistakes. The point is, though, to keep trying, to keep educating yourself and getting better day to day. <laughs> well, Google in a statement, Raymond, is admitting that they have, quote, missed the mark here and are ending the images of people for now. But I don't know. It's it's kind of convenient. Like, oh, we missed the mark. You think <laughs> missed mm -hmm. the mark? They're completely rewriting history or attempting right. At, on the road to rewriting history to make it more well, diverse and inclusive, which is what they're doing in a lot of remakes of films and historic biopics, all that kind of stuff. Right. And look, diversity is a wonderful thing. Look, I'm all for it. Let's include everybody. But you can't distort history here, Laura. The fact is George Washington was white. The fact is there were three African popes. Let's show them. That's fine. That's a good thing to see. But when you deprive people of their races or you jumble them up the way Google is here, you're not allowing the future to profit from the glories or the struggles of those who went before. You know, we're given an inheritance with the past. It's our obligation to pass it on to the next generation intact, not remake it as we want to imagine it or as we think it should be. That is nonsense. Well, they don't so like I'm the glad past. they're shutting this down. Well, you're, you're too naive. Yeah, you're naive, okay? You're very smart, <laughs> okay. but you're also naive. They don't care about the past. They think the past is corrupt and we're an awful, rotten, racist country. That's what they think. So they want to eliminate all the, you know, the old, you know, vestiges of the past and create a new world, a new world order, a new world understanding yeah. that doesn't include those old archaic figures. Pretty crazy, right? This all got me thinking about my own experiences with AI art generators. They can be amazing tools, but sometimes the results raise some eyebrows. Why? It all boils down to bias in the training data. This isn't just about funny mishaps. There are wider implications for how we understand the past and represent ourselves in the future. So, is AI rewriting history or simply reflecting the biases we fed it? And what does this mean for the future of AI art? I recently dove deeper into this whole coded bias thing with Midjourney, the popular AI art generator. The parallels to Google's AI bot were uncanny. Watch this video to hear more about my experience and how it connects to the acclaimed documentary, Coded Bias.